Hey, welcome to the shop. Today we're working on a project to build a shaper attachment for this mill. Uh, the reason why is because this mill is notoriously terrible at keeping any tram whatsoever. And using a shaper will take that out of it. So we'll knock up some quick sketches and then we'll go from there. So that's what it's going to look like. There's going to be welds sort of in here and on the corresponding sides holding these bars together. Then there's going to be screws here holding it to the mill head. Screws like that. And then the plan is, is there's going to be a 10 mil reamed hole there to hold tool bits, and four, probably, probably four mil, uh, maybe, maybe M4, M5, you know what, M5, let's go M5, tapped set screws to hold the tool in. Now the downside of this is, is that there's no tool retraction. So if you've seen a shape that typically the tool comes in and then flaps up and comes back. This is just either it's going to drag or given that this is a CNC machine it'll lift, pull back, put it back down. That's technically not going to be as accurate because you're relying on the machine to get the height exactly the same every time. Or what you could do is, is sort of find a path around it, come back in, and that, that could possibly work. But you know, to be fair, this is just a proof of concept. This is what it's going to look like. Right, so this bar has been faced perfectly to length. These ones have been faced on either side, but not to length. So there's a little bit of clearance there. So what the plan is, is we're going to, well, because I can't weld, really, my welds are terrible. What I'm going to do, and I don't really trust myself to get anything straight, is come in and slot these two like this so that this slots in like that then I can weld all four sides and hopefully get it actually straight and square oh, That's not bad.
putting in there. Yeah, so you can see I've got everything in the vise, clamped up. I'm going to weld these two sides, uh, flip it over and then weld the other two. I'm hoping the clamps stop from warping too much until I can get the welds on the other side done. We're back on the mill now. I've got a setup sitting on parallels, and what we're doing is we're getting ready to face these two sides. What we want to use is a CCMT lathe tool in a fly cutter. Well, the there. And I think I want to be conservative and trying to. Very, very thin fit. Um, probably 0.1 centimeter is about as brave as I'm willing to go. Well, to be honest, it's doing a decent job. It looks like it's not cleaning up. Thank <laughs> you. 